Okay, hi. Today I want to talk about how to use visual supports to um, support the arrival time in your classroom. I know that some for some um, students coming in, uh, people bringing them down to your classroom, you never know how they are going to be feeling once they get to the classroom. It can be a little bit hectic sometimes. And so in order to get your day started off on the right foot, there are some things that you can try because we really talk a lot in our uh, group about uh, structuring the setup of the classroom and how to get started. And when you think about starting your day, we want to have it go as smooth as possible. So some visual supports that you can use um, would be social stories to help prepare students for new routines, especially if there's a new student coming into the classroom or if students are coming from a different classroom to your classroom, they might be used to going to one room and now they have to transition and come to another room. And for us, some students with autism, that can be a little bit alarming. Uh, so we can do social stories to help explain to them how this change is going to work and what this change is going to look like. The other thing you can do is use visuals to introduce the routine. And so for some of our students, and I have a picture here, for some of our students, we will need to actually maybe create a checklist. So this one says, you know, get off the bus, um, enter the building, um, make sure it says, head to the classroom. Um, I can't see it all. Put the materials away in a locker in your cubby, take out your notebook, and then go to the first activity. And so this checklist uh, helps the student to see what things are next and what things are gonna happen as soon as they get to school. And that's even before their daily class schedule starts. But for a lot of students with autism, having that visual support can help them understand and help them sequence. Um, another thing you can do is use visuals to help with social interaction. And so as students are coming into the building, if they're not usually greeting other people, even a wave is a visual support. It kind of shows what, what you mean. But for some people, they might actually need um, some type of picture that says hi on here to show them that you, that you want them to say hello or you want them to say hi or some type of gesture to help them with their greetings. Um, number four is you can provide visual supports um, to help students practice the morning routine. So if you think about it, um, we do have a lot of routines and things that happen in the morning from breakfast time for some schools to um, morning activity to uh, morning announcements. There's so many different things at different schools. And so some of the things you could do is put posters and you know I was got my notes here guys. You can put posters um, on their cubbies to show them what to do. You can put mini posters to instruct them what to do after they enter, right? They've already gone to their cubbies or their locker, but now they've entered the classroom. Maybe just a tiny mini schedule. I wish I had an example um, to show them what to do at that point. Posters on how to greet teachers, right? Just reminders that are visual to show them what the expectations are. Um, also, once you get into the morning meeting, you can have a series of posters. And I'm saying posters, but it could just be a piece of paper, but it has the steps, right? It could just be a poster to tell them what are the steps to morning meeting. I think any way you can add a visual support to help your student understand and to help your student sequence the activity and know when the activity is done is going to be um, beneficial to that student, especially if you're, you have students that are having trouble making it through those activities. Uh, if you have students that are sitting through the activity, things are going well for them, they may not need as much support, but the student who is not making it through the activity is probably a student that definitely needs that visual support for those uh, arrival activities. Okay, thanks. Oh, and the other thing is a lot of these strategies are from the blog and so if you go to the blog and look for how visuals can support arrival routines in your classroom you will find more detailed information about this have a great day